Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and this video is going to just be a little rundown of what it's like for me to do a quick signing. So if you're interested in watching how I get through my signings from beginning to end, keep watching. Okay, so this morning I'm starting off with just organizing my documents and pre-filling out my journal. So that way when I walk into my client's home, the first thing I'm gonna have them do is fill out this journal before we even start their documentation. I'm about 30 minutes into this and I basically separated all of my notarial acts over here. There's 12 in total. Um, and then I sectioned off which documents in which order I want to go through them. So as you can see, I have some tags on here. These are just simple signatures and initials with dates. But these are the things that I have to notarize. So I'm going to finish filling out this book because we have two borrowers. And I have to now copy all of the same journal entries for one borrow for another one. If that makes sense. Okay, so the order that I'm going to go in is using the Patriot Act information forms first. I'm going to ask for their IDs, fill this out, and have them sign my journal as I'm doing this. Once these two are complete, I'm going to go through all of the regular signings and initials that don't require my seal, let them look through the paperwork briefly, and then the last thing I'm going to do is have them do all the notarizations. All of my notarizations are in purple tabs, so as you can see there in the back. That's the way that I organize it to go faster. Um, I'm, I think that's pretty much... And today I just decided to use the bubble mailer as my folder and that's it. Yeah, it's easier. Okay, I'm heading to my signing. I look crazy right now. I'm sorry. I'm about 15 minutes away. This signing is only 15 miles away. Um, okay, so I just finished the hybrid signing. It literally took 45 minutes. That was the quickest signing I've ever done in my life. I love hybrid refinances. Less paperwork, no copies, straight to it. And those signers were like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I was moving too slow for them, okay? It probably would have been 30 minutes if it were up to them. So um, I'm about to head back home right now, just reorganize the paperwork, drop it off, and then that's it for the day. And yes, I do wear suits to my signings. I wear blazers and I dress very, very professional because you just never know what kind of people you're gonna run into. Um, I put my hair very modestly. I put my makeup very modestly. Like most of the time the homeowners are older than me. So I don't want to look too like, you know, just crazy. Um, and I definitely have noticed when I watch other people's vlogs and stuff, they wear more casual clothes. I like to err on the side of caution with wearing formal attire because most of the time they think that you're from the title company or from the escrow company and you don't want to give off a bad impression so um i will definitely wrap this whole video up when i get home okay guys so finally looked over these documents made sure everything was signed i'm about to put it in this envelope drop it off at fedex and we are good to go i really need a phone holster but I am going around the corner to drop off this packet. Uh, it took me about 20 to 30 minutes just to reorganize it and take off the flags and make sure that all of the signatures are there. Once again, if anybody's an experienced LSA, NSA, and they're like, what the heck? <laughs> Why is it taking her so long to do simple stuff? It's because I'm new, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into this Walgreens, drop it off because they have a FedEx shipping place right there. And then after that, I'm done. So I was actually offered a signing during my meeting with the client and then I got another signing afterwards. So telling you all it, like CX Choice is trying to step it up, I don't know. I think they might've seen my video where I was talking about um, signature closers and how they were giving me all this all this work and now they try and give me some work too listen <laughs> but yeah like cx choice is still my fave because 
they be giving me all the details that I need to make my decision on whether or not I'm gonna actually take on a signing. So I'm gonna go inside real quick, and drop this off, and then I'm done. Yeah, so that just sums up my whole day today. I dropped off the document at FedEx. I'm pretty much done. It was a hybrid signing, so it was about 70 pages. Um, most of the initialing and signatures were done online prior to me going out to get the wet signatures and do the notarization because I live in New Jersey. We don't do remote like we only do hybrid. If you want to see how I organize my signings so that it goes by quicker, give this a thumbs up. If you want to see me do a refinance video, giving you like all, all the tips that you need to know before you do your first refinance, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also like just drop some comments, leave some knowledge. I love when I see that. Like I'm still new, so like when I read through the comments and I find out new stuff, it's so like it's a blessing. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.